The street battles show no sign of letting up. Now daily, they are at times close and fierce. But the Venezuelan National Guard employed tactics to push back the protesters. The water cannon proving effective only to temporarily disperse them, but not cool their anger. Both sides are seen to goad each other. The battle erupted in Caracas after opposition protesters were blocked from heading towards the state ombudsman's office. It was like relighting the match that had previously burned. Another tactic, tear gas, used abundantly. The faces may be hidden, but the intended effects can be seen. Wearing her yin and yang mask, this woman questions why they are being attacked and intimidated. There is fire and water here, but it's difficult to see any other interconnected forces at work. For a month now, they have demonstrated against the socialist government, soaring inflation, a shortage of goods and high murder rates. Called the Venezuelan spring protests by students, there have been victims on both sides. Three more dead on Wednesday, raising the death toll to 25 in that month. One of the latest, a student killed at his home in Valencia or in the thick of the protests, whoever you choose to believe. More than 1,300 people have already been arrested and that number is likely to rise, with tension unlikely to subside just yet as social media continues to be employed to corral the protesters.